Hey guys, quick video of the uh, boat. If you clicked on this, you're maybe interested in purchasing it. It is for sale by owner, it is my boat. So that's why I'm doing this, to try to see if I can sell it without incorporating any sort of brokerage fees or anything that may up the price on you guys and hurt me on my sale value. So it's the best of both worlds for both of us. Anyways, it's a uh, 2018 Sportsman Open. Uh, it's a 242 series. Uh, engine's got about 60 hours on it, roughly. Uh, trailer's got, I mean, very low, about 1,200 miles on it. I mean, I, I barely, barely, rarely drive this thing uh, any long distances. I did one, one little trip on the other side of Galveston Bay, basically. That's the furthest it's ever been from this storage unit on a trailer. Uh, anyways, Magic Tilt trailer. I got the shades on just to kind of show you what it looks like with that. It's kind of in the party mode at the moment, but uh, you know, it is a fishing boat. It's a real good fishing boat. I just wanted to show you the party mode option because it's kind of a rare fee. That's why we bought it for a family. Uh, got aluminum wheels. It does come with a spare tire, same matching wheel. In pristine condition. I mean, a hole is awesome. This thing's ride smooth. You can ask anybody, watch other YouTube videos. I know it sounds biased because it's my boat and trying to sell, but you'll hear time and time again these things are built very sturdy. They ride awesome in the chop or anything. There's the Yamaha 300 boarding ladder. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, over here in Galveston Bay, we do a lot of uh, wade fishing, so we'll anchor out, get out of the boat, wade fish, come back to the boat. So that uh, boarding ladder does put in some work. Uh, it's got uh, underwater lights, 3D transducer upgrade on it, trim tabs. Yeah, the transducer upgrade is pretty nice. Uh, we uh, fish the jetties a lot, and to be able to locate the boulders and stuff is pretty amazing technology, that 3D stuff. Look on YouTube, other videos and stuff, you'll see that also. It's a pretty amazing device, but and you can see stuff like you're looking at it through the water it's amazing uh, let's see what else I got the transom savers I always run with those just to make sure everything's good there I got it running water because I'm gonna start up for you guys in a little bit but uh, let's hop in the boat I'm gonna show you a few features I'll crank it up try to make this video decently short all right so starting in the back here uh, see we got some uh, pull-up cleats a little transom door uh, my son's used this as a seat before uh, he's 10 it's not padded or anything there's no pad that goes there but he's used it as my parents have sat back here while we were underway and this is super comfy nice spot to be on the boat got a 25 gallon live well here it's got a slam latch nice acrylic door it says sportsman or a sportsman logo on it 25 gallons, uh, colored, curved, all your standard stuff nowadays. Got lights inside of it, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see, this uh, seat, if you put it at about a 45 degree angle, you can access the uh, rear area here. You can see inside there, bilge pump, oil, uh, the filter, water separator. Got a couple couple gallon you know five uh five gallon bucket access there to put some never really used it but you know it's uh it's there if you want to use it and then you know this goes back this goes against there flush and now you have a big open cockpit to fish this is how we kind of run it most of the time when we're sitting stagnant uh the uh shade poles they kind of just go on some clips here in the uh, on the t-top cinch down the poles go into rod holders on the side there's little notches they line up and they click into place the whole shade system front and back takes I mean like five minutes to put up it's very simple but it does give you some good shade on these hot days um, we've got JL audio upgraded sound system so we've got two speakers back here we have Speakers in the side gunnels, both sides. And then it has two subwoofers. 
right there and right here. All right, and then there's speakers in the T-top. Two in the front and two in the rear. This is kind of what we've got with the 242. There's a couple reasons over the 232. Uh, number one was the speakers on the 240 or the 232. There's none in the front. They're only in the back. Uh, I wanted sound to be kind of around everywhere. Uh, also, the 232 console is smaller. This is the larger console. So when you jump from the 32 to the 42, you do get a bigger, it's a little bit taller, a little bit wider, a little bit more depth. And that mattered to us because we uh, plan on using the head a lot, which we do. And it's uh, more, way more spacious. I mean, it's a noticeable difference if you get inside the two. Uh, of course, black powder coating, you see that. It's got rod holders along the back in here. Uh, it's got tackle storage down here. And I have a... Oh man, what is that? 65 series, I believe. Um, Yeti that fits under there, no problem. Uh, they do sell a uh, slide on these as an upgrade. I didn't choose that because I've heard that people have clearance issues with it. But we just put our cooler up underneath there, and then when we need to access it, we just kind of slide it out a bit. I mean, it's pretty easy. I know they get heavy and stuff, but you only have to slide it out maybe six inches, and then open it, use it, put it back type deal. Uh, but yeah, that tackle storage is cool. It's got. You know, all my shit in here, obviously, but um, it's got just an open place right there, and it's got a tray system here. Slam latches, lockable, all that good stuff. We got room for three rods on the gunnels. Got a tow stop. That thing's amazing. Uh, three more rod holders, tow stop. That's just my brush I use, and I got it took it hooked up to uh, water. So this is a uh, the uh, water port. It is raw water here, and it is fresh water up here. This boat has a fresh water uh, fresh water hold. All right, um, fresh water hold is about mm, I think it's like 15 gallons, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it sits up in the uh, front. I'll show you. So we got rod holders here there along the side gunnels uh, cup holders also uh, we have a cup holder here we have a couple more rod holders and a cup holder all right so let's go to the helm here we've got a uh, dual helm seat these bolsters they flip down so you can sit down and ride you can lean against it and ride it's really nice I am a uh, advocate leaner I always run in a lean position and just I feel like I got more control but my wife sits and she hangs out and sometimes falls asleep it happens sportsman pads on the, for the uh, foot rests of course we got the uh, standing pad there too it does make a world of difference we got a couple cold holders here uh, Yamaha controls of course um, you got your throttle trim Here's for your um, trim tabs, of course. They got your indicated. Uh, pretty nice. I mean, we, we use it to kind of even out the boat. We don't really use it to get out a hole or anything. I think the boat gets out of it just, just fine. Uh, key, disconnect, all that good stuff like normal. Uh, steering wheel, Sportsman logo, your little deal there. It does tilt. It's got a tilt function. Back and forth. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So here's the uh, Simrad unit. Um, let's see if I can go to... Oh, that's not right. Go to the uh, instrumentation. So you got a bunch of instruments on there. It does have the 3D transducer. It's got side imaging. It's got... I mean, it's loaded out. It's a 12-inch. I did not opt for the uh, second one. I didn't see the need for it. I just saw it as an extra expense. Uh, like I said, this does have the JL Audio sound system. It is an upgrade for this year. Uh, like I said, uh, we have four speakers in the T-top. Four speakers in the gunnel. Two subwoofers. It's got an amplifier. This thing is amazing. Uh, it's better than my truck audio. Uh, it's <laughs> amazing. Been a lot of compliments on that. Uh, horn, a couple electrical accessories build switch live well water wash down 
a couple accessories. It does have the uh, uh, Pro Air. You can wire it up. It's not in this boat. I didn't opt for it, but you can put the Pro Air uh, bubbling system in here. Uh, courtesy light, nav light. Uh, really cool other accessories in this is uh, it's got T-top misters. You can see it here. Uh, it's got four corner misters. So one back there, of course, on the other side mirrored. And then you have one up here and on the other side. So four corners, misting system. Here's your uh, controls for that. Uh, T-top misters, the T-top lights, the spreader lights. It's got spreader lights front and rear. Uh, I got a little compartment here. Mostly just keep our wall and stuff in there high end. VHF, Simrad. Uh, here's your little map light, courtesy map light. Uh, let's see, is it too bright out here? Yeah, it's white and red, yep. So, I don't know, I don't really use that. I don't like to go out in the morning too early. Uh, too much stuff in the water out here in Galveston. Another little compartment here. This is where I just keep our sunglasses and typically like boat registration and stuff like that. So, not huge compartments, but enough to just put the essentials. All right, uh, let's see, we got uh, rod holders along the back, four of those. We have Kingfisher rod holders, both sides here. We got rod holders, of course, along the uh, back of the leaning posts, four there. What else here? Nice helm pad up here, holds stuff really well. It's got a good lip, uh, compass. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's there. Uh, let's see what else, here's our charge port. To charge the batteries come around here got a little window for the head there's your uh, 242 open nice little carbon fiber thing there the uh, windshield is removable what I usually do is I'll remove it to when I do my thorough cleaning of the boat it's got these little twist tabs here just twist them off 45 degree angle comes off real easy cleaning uh, we got a front seat here uh, this can be you can install a live well here. I opted not to because, again, here in Galveston, we don't really use multiple types of bait. Uh, or we don't do live wells. We uh, throw our fish in the cooler on ice as soon as we catch them, and then we usually just use shrimp or mullet or uh, mud minnows. Uh, but you don't really use multiple types of bait here. That's like a Florida thing. I get it. We just don't do it here. So this is a insulated cooler. Um does have an LED light in there also. All right, let's go to the head compartment. So head compartment's over here. It is lockable. Uh, got your, just your porta potty in there. That's got a nice helm pad, drain. Behind here is all your electronics. You got your battery switch. Uh, let's see, amplifier. Sorry, the sun's killing me right now. Let's see if I can see in here. Amplifier for the sound system. Uh, that is your hydraulic pump for your trim tab. Oh no, that's the. Uh, oh sorry, that's the. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what that is. To be honest with you. Something. Oh, it's your uh, freshwater pump because your freshwater tank is right down here. See, it kind of stuffs up underneath there. Uh, your batteries are behind here also. So you got see a porta potty. The uh, front table we're about to show you does store right here. It's got little tabs. You just flush against there and then the uh, the pole is right here you just put click the pole into place and it rides real well all right uh, this thing's seen a lot of use I mean it's uh, it's pretty big pretty big height in there I mean I can nearly stand up and I'm six foot uh, my wife she can stand up just fine my kids of course no problem but uh, it's been super useful especially with a uh, couple females I mean it's it's a big deal all right all right, so the front seating area. So you can see the shade. Again, same thing, kind of clips onto the uh, T-top, cinches down, it goes way up there. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good size shade. The uh, front portion goes into some installed rod holders on the front, so when you're not using the shade, of course you got some forward-facing rod holders. You see they're kind of at a uh, uh, degree angle off the boat there. Not directly off, but towards the front corner uh, handrails along both sides um, but I got this set up in like I said party mode so uh, 
this is a table i put the pad on there to show you so whenever you're um want to go to a you could make this a full sun deck if you'd like just put that pole away the table goes down and then there's little pins you push in the sides and it locks it in place and then the pad goes on top of that you've got of course the seating pads here you got a pad and a um, a piece of uh, filler that goes in there and the cup holders now where that cup holders and filler are that does come out and then when you take the table out you can actually walk all the way up to the very front and mess with your anchor so uh, that's really cool a lot of them puts the seat like a u-shape and it just wraps around and so that is uh, blocked by whatever storage is underneath there but this one does not do that I'll show you kind of underneath here so you see that it uh, has a gap underneath it because that's where you can walk up to I see it has a pedestal that's another thing we liked about the uh, 42 over the 32. The 32 uh, just didn't have a very good setup on the front end for us. So we didn't like it as much. It's not as big. Uh, this is a big hatch here. Um, we just keep, uh, I keep all my weight gear in there mostly. Uh, just you know, keep it out of the way. Uh, there are fish boxes under both seats. Um, they're fairly big. I mean, I've caught a couple jack ball um, I think I mean it was bigger than my measuring tape and my measuring tape was with 36 inches and they fit in there on ice so that was good uh, bolsters wrap all the way around I know it, there's a little gap here but they do start back up and go all the way around cleat up there to tie off your anchor let's see what else I'm trying to think uh, I think it's just about it anyways you got any questions Please let me know. I probably did miss some stuff. Oh, I did miss this. Uh, so it is set up for the uh, Taco Outrigger system. It's got the bracket on there already. You just remove the bolt nuts at the top and uh, install it. Oh, there's another thing here. So these little things here, uh, you'll see one here. You'll see one here and one on the other side. Uh, well, you can't see it because of the, the lip on the T-top, but over there. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a it's an Isinglass system is what they call it. So you slide the Isinglass in here and then it drapes down and you just clamp it around the pole here and uh, it's a wind blocker and uh, that did come with the boat. So I do have that also. It's not, you know, anything I'm going to try to leave. I'm not going to leave anything out. Um, you know, there's no sense in keeping anything. So, uh, We'll get that too but it's a pretty sweet system um, kind of clips into here on the front and then there's little straps are wrap around here but what it does is it it blocks the wind uh, we used it so when I first got the boat well, we went out and it was like 25 mile an hour winds beating up pretty hardcore we ended up throwing those up because the uh, wind was throwing some spray on us and uh, it is isinglass so it's not like glass glass so it's uh, you know a little bit difficult to see through I would say not like not like glass but it's um it definitely blocked everything did a good job of that um, also let's see what else was there uh, horn is right here I mean everybody has a horn uh, let's see some more of the boat Oh, let me fire it up for you. That's what I was going to do. That's what I was missing. Okay, cool. Let me fire this puppy up for you. All right, so... All right, now we can see this. So you see... Uh, Oh wow, it's more hours than I thought. So 74 hours on it. I'm gonna update that on the listing, I guess, because I thought we were closer to 60. So 74 hours. You can see it's real hot out here, 91 degrees, water temp, quote unquote. Um, but uh, there's your gauges. And then go over here, and uh, you got your chart finder. This one's pretty amazing. You use it a lot. Uh, you got your echo sound. Of course, we're not in the water. 
structure scan. It's kind of cool. It shows you uh, your boat as you go, and you can kind of grab this and spin it. Look around your boat. You can pinch and zoom. It's all touch screen. It's pretty nice. It's not going to detect anything now because obviously we're in a parking lot. It does have a, a navigation option, but there's a upgrade to that. You have to hit something, uh, buy something to put that on there, but it is built in there. Uh, there's radar also, again, an accessory you could buy if you would like. It's not on the boat. I think it's a 4G, something like that, Simrad deal. There's the Yamaha side of things, the two different kind of gauge setups. You can do the Yamaha one, or you could do the uh, one for the uh, built into the Simrad. Alternator charge, 13, high 13s, 14. Uh, yeah, I mean, she idles well. I always use the fuel stuff when I fill up. I always keep it full of fuel as much as I can. To, unless I'm in a some sort of rush, but for the most part, there's a Bucky's really close. We just fill up the fuel every time we get all the water. All right. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, again, if you got any questions, please let me know. Uh, anything I missed on here, I'm sure I did. I didn't really prep anything. I just kind of got out here and started filming. But uh, it's been a good boat. Uh, sad to see her go. Uh, reason being, uh, I'm sure I'm going to get that question, is we, uh, we bought this boat as a family boat. Um, we did a lot of research to find one that would uh, suit us the best. I am a fisherman, of course. My... Uh, wife is uh her criteria was how many places that she can find a place to nap so with this setup here um she enjoyed uh sitting here and uh, taking a nap but we soon realized that you know I, we thought we'd go to the sandbar we thought we'd go enjoy a day on the water as a family and stuff but we camp a lot more than we go on the water as a family so I was just going out on the water by myself and so uh, we've kind of determined we want to go ahead and buy a camper uh, instead because uh, it makes more logical sense to us rather than you know the way we camp now is primitive in a tent and uh, it's hot in Texas so we're gonna go that route that's why we're getting rid of this if anyone's asking we're not getting rid of it because there's a problem it's uh it's a fantastic boat you know, sad to see her go, like I said, but um, time to move on. Had it for a couple years, enjoyed it thoroughly. Great memories with the kiddos, great memories with my family, my mom, mom and dad. So uh, it did its job for us, and hopefully it does its job for you. And um, like I said, anything else, just give me a call, or I'm sorry, uh, shoot me a comment on YouTube, and I'll get that, and I'll respond back, and all that stuff, we'll PM and whatever. Other than that, signing out, guys. Y'all have a good one.